Contact! Clear. Much like its titular team, XCOM Chimera Squad merges a bunch of disparate parts into one. This full-length spin-off campaign sets up how XCOM's world has changed since Earth's liberation, while field testing radical alterations to traditional mechanics. Just not in a way that amounts to a particularly polished or graceful whole. Chimera Squad's light but well-written story stays compelling despite lowering the stakes from save the human race to what is essentially XCOM cops. Set five years after XCOM 2, humans and aliens are trying to live in harmony. Well, most of them. You take XCOM's diverse Chimera Squad to the streets of City 31 to track down a series of shadowy syndicates threatening to break its fragile peace. With that thematic change also comes a boatload of mechanical ones, some more successful than others. Missions are broken into bite-sized chunks, turns follow a new soldier-by-soldier -soldier initiative system, battles now start with a bombastic breach, and plenty more. While some changes are just different from XCOM 2 rather than better or worse, the sum of them do make Chimera Squad feel thinner overall. That's the target. Once you have it, leave. Unlike the previous Firaxis XCOM games, members of Chimera Squad are distinct, pre-made characters with fun abilities available from their very first mission. There's the lovably naive Cherub, the charmingly sarcastic Medic Terminal, and one of my personal favorites, the sassy Viper Torque. Are we... good? I don't know. Did you get a lobotomy? Can't say that I did. They're all as different on the battlefield as they are off it with unique and extremely powerful abilities that range from Terminal's healing to Torque doing this. Ouch. Their brief bits of dialogue are entertaining and sometimes laugh out loud funny. I didn't think they'd let an off-worlder join the team. Torque, you are an off-worlder. I'm from New Arctic. I am, by definition, an Earthling but there's no actual character development whatsoever, and no opportunities to watch them grow and get attached like in a game like Fire Emblem. It's also harder to get emotionally invested when permadeath has been entirely removed. It's understandable since your squad is now finite, but it's also a really disappointing change, one that significantly lowers the stakes and let me get uncharacteristically reckless. Damaged soldiers don't even need to recover between missions outside of some rare and quickly fixable scars. I only saw three of them total in my entire 22-hour campaign. Sectoids do not receive cats. They generally perceive us as adversaries. Thankfully, the missions themselves are still built on the excellent tactical combat bones of XCOM 2. Each fight is full of the important decisions of who to target first, where to move, and when to pop that powerful but limited ability that I love about the series. That carries Chimera Squad far, even when changes weaken it slightly. Spread the leg. The biggest difference is that missions have been split into discrete encounters, similar to Ubisoft's Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Most missions have between one and three, and they're rarely bigger than a single room. On one hand, this means missions never have a dull moment but on the other, constant firefights make them all blend together no matter the objective, and with no moments of building tension. Similarly, while I appreciated not having to spend full turns walking through open space anymore, sometimes I wouldn't have to move a character at all. That doesn't feel great either. Results of its experiments are mixed, but Chimera Squad generally feels like it's shifted away from long-term strategy towards moment-to-moment -to -moment decision making in a way that I was ultimately let down by. Those decisions are still fun to make, but its narrower focus makes it a thinner puzzle overall. Prime example of this is the new breach mode that kicks off every encounter. It's a cool cinematic spectacle, but boils down a previously complex approach strategy into a couple simplistic choices about which doors offer what kinds of buffs or debuffs. How's this for an entrance? Conversely, the new initiative turn-based system feels more like a side grade than an improvement or a negative change. I enjoyed using abilities and items to manipulate the turn order to my advantage, but also missed being able to more easily set up combos between my soldiers by moving whoever I wanted during my turn. It's sort of a wash, but I'm glad Paraxis at least tried it out here. Thought I had it. Entirely removed from the changes, good or bad, is the frustrating amount of bugs. 
You've got an assortment of oddly familiar visual issues, guns constantly pointing the wrong direction during breaches, the roof occasionally appearing during indoor missions, and plenty more. Then there are the slightly more annoying variety. Things like the UI for one of Verge's psychic abilities indicating he'll damage himself when he actually won't. And finally, there are the worse issues. The ones that had me actively cursing at my screen. Once I moved a soldier out of a fire to punch an enemy, only to have him teleport back into the flames afterwards. Occasionally, equipping a soldier with a special weapon would delete their regular gun from my inventory, preventing me from ever being able to unequip it again. But the worst bug by far had one soldier's body armor randomly delete itself, and since you can't buy more, he was permanently left weakened. That's bad, and left me in constant fear of it happening again. No matter how much time was paid to the story, characters, or gameplay alterations, the housing for those things clearly didn't get the same attention. Nowhere to run! XCOM Chimera Squad may be a full XCOM spin-off, but it feels more like a testing ground. It plays with bold changes to existing mechanics and story, but doesn't really build them into a cohesive whole. Its unique soldier personalities are delightful, and its new ideas are at least interesting, but they lack both character development and deeper strategic choice. Thankfully, even tweaked, XCOM's tried and true gameplay goes a long way towards keeping it fun in the face of frustrating bugs and occasional missteps. For more on Chimera Squad, watch its flashy animated reveal trailer. Or for more on XCOM in general, watch our reviews of XCOM 2 and its War of the Chosen DLC to find out why it remains one of the best tactics games around. And for everything else, you're already in the right place on IGN.